In this video, we're going to talk about the project system in Visual Studio. If you're not really familiar with Visual Studio, it can seem kind of overwhelming when you first open it, especially as a PowerShell user that's opening or used to just opening scripts inside Visual Studio Code or the ISE. But if you want to actually create a project in Visual Studio, um, we're going to step through that here today. So when you first open Visual Studio, um, what you're going to see is this splash screen here. If you have recent projects, they're going to show up on the left. And on the right hand side, we have some getting started buttons. What we're going to do is click create new project. From there, it's going to load the um, kind of project templates that we have available. Uh, in my case, I already have PowerShell selected, but uh, if you've installed the PowerShell extension for Visual Studio, um, then you are going to have this as well. And you just select PowerShell, and you're going to see these three options. So we have module uh, projects, uh, forms projects, and a script project. So the differences are the items that come by default in the project. Other than that, they're pretty much the same. Um, I am just going to select a forms project, for example, and we're going to click next. From there, it's going to ask us what we want to name it. Um, so I'll just name it uh, my form project, and it's going to store it in this location. You can choose a different location if you like. Now I'm going to click create. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to uh, open up Visual Studio for us. So now we have uh, Visual Studio proper running. Um, you can see there's lots of windows. Um, and kind of the one we're going to be focusing on today is the uh, Solution Explorer window over here. If for some reason you don't have the Solution Explorer window, you can always click uh, View up here, and it's the first option, or Control-Alt-L. And that is going to show you all the projects inside your solution. So inside of uh, Visual Studio, you kind of have two levels. The solution is uh, kind of the container for all the projects. So you can have one or more PowerShell projects in here, um, or other types of projects like C-sharp projects or um, web projects, that kind of thing. But in this case, we have a single project in here called My Form Project that I just created. So inside here is where you organize your PowerShell scripts. So I have my uh, form here that I just created. Um, and I have a PS1 file. And I also have this uh, designer.ps1 file that contains the actual form contents. So that's all visible kind of inside my, um, my form project here. From here, what I can actually do is you can click Start. And it's going to just start up that script. And you can see now my um, form is running. So uh, we're going to take a little overview of what you can do with a form now. So if I right click on the form, um, one thing that's really handy is if you click properties here, you're going to see that there are a bunch of options. Um, we have build events. So you can actually run a PowerShell script before or after a build. Um, and then we have a bunch of advanced settings. So things like packaging. So you know creating an XE out of a PowerShell script and a bunch of options around that. Um, you can set file properties for your XE. And if you're producing a service, you can provide some service information. Um, additionally, we can add more files to a project by right clicking on it, saying add new or existing item. So that will actually either bring up this uh, new item template selector. You can see here that we have a bunch of different options for different types of PowerShell um, item types. So we have PowerShell scripts, which will actually create pester tests our PowerShell test, I mean, um, data files, which will make PSD1 files, WPF windows, which will include a XAML file and a backed uh, PS1 script that loads it, um, a script module, which would be a PSM1 file, a form, which is what we've already added here, which is two PS1 files, one the designer and one the actual like uh, logic. And then finally, a service, which is um, the ability to create a Windows service uh, via a PowerShell script. So you could just go ahead and you know add one of those if you'd like, and then you have another PS1 file um, inside your project. Um, so additionally, uh, if you want to add more projects to a solution, or you might have a solution already available, like there's a C-sharp project, you want to add a PowerShell project to it, what you can do is go up to your solution and right click on that and say, add new project. And you kind of have that same dialogue we saw in the beginning where we can select our language, we're going to select PowerShell, and then from there you can create your new project to store within your solution. So that's kind of the idea with uh, the project system. Um, one other nice thing to kind of be aware of if you're like getting lost, like where are my files, you can always right click on this and you can say open folder and file explorer. And that's actually going to pop open the entire uh, folder structure for this project. And here you can see that I have my designer PS1, my PS1 for my form, um, that script 
one that PS1 that I just added, as well as the PS Proj file. So that contains um, all the information for uh, this my project. So in this video, we went through the project system in uh, Visual Studio for PowerShell tools for Visual Studio.